Okay, guys. Uh, basically, I want to show you how to calibrate your R2 clamps here. Um, you can see we have about 0 0.05 here. Uh, let's just see if I can do this without knocking the angle cube around here. And then there we go. Uh, 0 0.05 there. Um, a little trickier to do <laughs> than you think because if your angle cube tilts at all and twists this way or this way, your angle's going to change. Uh, that's just something to keep in mind. You want to keep that straight, or at least with my gridomatic angle cube, it's kind of like that. Uh, it doesn't change much, but it does. Uh, so, as you can see, I was real careful there. Um, now, how I was able to do this uh, to make it so, let's get that out of the way. Uh, when I flipped it, it stayed the same to, to calibrate them. Uh, put a little more tension there. There we go, that's better. Uh, how I was able to do that is uh, when I got these clamps, uh, hold on. just go like. This so you guys can see a little bit better here. Uh, somebody had tightened down on my clamps really hard to put a larger knife in. Uh, but in tightening down on a larger knife, uh, the clamps were only able to, you know, go like. I'm trying to think of the way, it, yeah, like, see, that's the knife. They, they were only able to clamp like that and not like this, like they normally would. Uh, so what happened is when they, they tightened it even more, they did like, trying to think, ah, here, this is a better example. Uh, they, they bent down like that over top of the, the blade. Uh, so what happened is my clamp got bent. And in doing so, it stripped the screw. Uh, so that's why I have two different screws here. It's not really very noticeable, but uh, they're two completely different screws. Um, let me take that back out. Moving this around too much here. Um, now, actually, I kind of have to leave that in there now that I think that so I can show you guys a few things. Makes things easier to mix in there. Uh, now, what you want to do is you put a knife in. Uh, make sure it's a knife. See how this uh, Benchmade has a nice flat spot to grab on. You want something like that. Even a piece of flat bar. Something really nice and flat uh, that you can grab really well with the clamp is what you want. Uh, you don't want to do this with like a full flat ground or something like that. But you don't know if it's going to grab 100%. Uh, you want some, a knife that you know can grab really nice. Like this knife, I know it grabs perfectly every time. It's the exact same way. Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind. That's, that's what you want. Uh, is something like that. So, yeah, uh, you know, find a knife that's reliable to clamp with. And then after you do that, what you want to do is you want to take your, your, uh, oh, parking brake off, or kickstand, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm losing the words at the moment because I'm a little on the tired side. It's a little late here when I'm filming this. Uh, but yeah, you want to take your parking hook off. There we go. And then you set your blade down. Uh, what I did is I, I zeroed on the blade here like that. So when you rotate it, you know if there's a difference. Uh, now, after that, uh, you'll see... There's no point in me doing it because there's no difference here in between my clamps anymore. Um, 
Now, after you zero it there, you'll, when you flip it, you'll see that like my one was half a degree off on this side. So when I flipped it, it said 0.5. Uh, this other clamp, when I flipped it, it said 0.1. Uh, so uh, then what I did is I took a, a screwdriver, a, you know, a nice foil head screwdriver, and then you crack these loose back here. Uh, I'm not going to do it at the moment because I have mine perfectly centered. Uh, because, because my clamps were bent, I noticed that when I took these all apart, I had to straighten it out with a level and everything. Uh, and an anvil and a vise. And... Anyway, I got them perfectly flat using my level. I was able to tell that, you know, there was no light coming through the other side. and They didn't rock or tip or anything like that. It was only bent in one spot, uh, which was the nice part. Uh, right by the hole for the screw. Um, so, now... Uh, after that, uh, I was able to tell that um, these screw holes, I basically just lined everything up the way they were supposed to be at first. Uh, uh, these, all these screw holes. Because you can see how everything fits nicely together. Uh, and that's how I did it. I just used the original, I just lined everything up the way it was. Put it all back and that's about how I had it. I had 0.5 off on one clamp and uh, 1.5 off on the other clamp. Or sorry, not 1.5, 1. One degree off on, and half a degree off on this side. So all I did is I loosened these screws here and here. I started off with these two screws and then uh, these two screws. Uh, be careful if you are doing this because these are on with Loctite and these screws are hard but they're not the greatest I, I had a, a screwdriver that I thought that would do the trick and it wasn't quite good enough this isn't the right screwdriver uh, I had a smaller Phillips that I got from Rona in a set uh, but if you heat it up with uh, they have Loctite on there or some form of thread locker uh, it's a clear one uh, It'll melt the abrasive and it'll come out, or adhesive, abrasive, the adhesive, and it'll come off really easily. Uh, so if you have a soldering iron or something like that, use that to warm up the screws. Ah, and they'll come out really easy. Uh, I, I found a different screwdriver after I tried my first one, and they came out perfectly. They, you twist a little bit and it snaps and it comes out. Uh, now, uh... Like I said, it was a little difficult for the one screw. I almost stripped it, but after I found the right screwdriver, I was fine. Uh, they all just cracked loose. Uh, so just make sure you pick the right one. And then, like I said, I loosened them off. And say I noticed there was half a degree difference. So all I do is I put my angle cube here like this and say it's... half a degree I would just pick that blade up you know 0.5 and then tighten the screws down so that would give me the difference and now if I couldn't get the full 0.5 from that I would just flip it over after loosen these off and then drop it down the remaining bit that I needed uh, and then just tighten everything down, and then that clamp would be done. And then I would just continue that on the other side. Uh, and that's how I did that. Uh, so if you're like me, and you had an issue with your clamps not lining up, uh, it's an easy way to fix it. You don't need to add anything or anything like that. Uh, you know, do any fancy shimming or playing around with things. Uh, you just loosen these screws off and reposition them. Now, once you get it to the point that you want it, you might want to take your knife out and uh, tighten all the screws down and then take one out, put some thread locker on it, tighten it back down again, and then take another screw out, put thread locker on it, tighten it back down again. 
Uh, that way it doesn't move on you and you're just always centered. Uh, now, uh, another way of doing this, that you might be able to do this. I, I didn't bother trying it because I did it with these clamps. Uh, you, you probably could do it with this. Uh, with these two screws here. Or sorry, you can't see what I'm pointing at here. Uh, you might be able to tilt it down and tilt it up. Uh, I don't know if it would be... I don't think it would make a difference because it wouldn't tilt anything. Uh, it's still probably possible though, but, uh, and then you got this nut here, so I don't know, maybe not, uh, but that's how I did it. I just did it through these screws and it was really easy, uh, cause you know, the, the, the screw hole is a little bit bigger than the screw. So you got all that slack in there and it was quite easy for me to get rid of that one degree. Even, uh, it's going to shut my angle cube off here while I'm talking. Uh, there we go. Anyway. Um, so yeah, it, it's pretty simple. I am in fact going to take that knife out while I'm talking so I don't bump into it. So it's at a really weird, weird angle and I don't want to hit it. Because, uh, you know, you shouldn't be shoving your hand in front of a knife unless you need to. Right now I don't need to. Uh... That's one thing to be careful about systems like this. If you're changing your stone, don't do it in front of the knife. You know, don't go popping it off and trying to put a new one on. Uh, just go over to the side and take it off. Put the new one on. Because, uh, you know, sometimes you're looking and doing things. You don't want to be in front of something, something sharp when you're doing that. Uh, just a, a little hint. Uh... Other than that, I really like the system now that I got it dialed in. And it's a solid unit. Uh, hopefully, you can repeat what I did and you'll have the same luck as me. Uh, now, one thing uh, you can do if you're worried about stripping the screw heads, because they are Phillips, or even if you do strip them, I, they're. Oh, you can't see it from that angle. Hang on. They are Phillips heads, so you can just get on there with a pair of pliers and crack it loose. Uh, the one that stripped, I actually did that with my Leatherman, and then I I, I had a, a, a different screwdriver, so I wanted to try that on the next screw, and it worked just fine. Uh, so, yeah, it's just something to keep in mind. If you're running into issues, you can use some pliers to crack it loose. Uh, they actually got enough meat there you can grab on there. Uh, so yeah, um, hopefully this helps you, uh, it definitely helped me with my centering issues with this, uh, it's, it's really reliable now, uh, I have the Hapstone V8, so I use this for full flat ground knives, no matter what, uh, but I usually use this for, like, stuff like my Benchmade, and, uh, I sharpened it tiny 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 little uh spiderco ladybug uh that had like the tip snapped off too so it was like super short and the ladybugs are tiny 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 little grinds on or uh blades on them they're very narrow uh and that thing was able to sharpen it at 19 degrees or this thing was able to sharpen it at 19 degrees so i was really impressed by that uh did a nice job anyway uh, this video helped you uh Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, throw a comment down below. Uh, there'll be some sharpening videos coming up. Uh, I'll have probably the V8 one coming first, and then the R2, and then my WorkSharp uh, Precision Adjuster. Um, I'll probably have another little... Uh, uh, hints type thing or not, not hint uh, uh, I'm just trying to look for the proper word but you know just a tip I guess uh, a tip of how I put lapping films on mine because uh, uh, they're, they're a nice little system uh, you can clamp some stuff in there really well and it's actually 
zero degrees when you flip it. Uh, I'll give that a thing that. Now you can't put a chef's knife in there like you can with this thing or a freaking machete if you really want it to. Uh, this thing can hold a monster blade in this thing. Uh, but uh, it's it's still a pretty capable system. Uh, it has its weak points. So I'm going to make a video about that one up. and this one. Uh, in the future, I don't want to talk too much right now. I just wanted to cover the calibration of the clamps in this video without having to edit it. So this is just a straight from my phone onto YouTube. Uh, so uh, like I said, if it helped you out, please like, share, and subscribe. It helps me a lot. Uh, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.